Shut off and on edge, hundreds of renters in Metro Detroit have had to live without water. And now hundreds more at the risk of their H2O coming to a halt. Our Andre Isom's taking action to get you some answers and get some help. The people you are about to meet spent weeks, months, worried about not having water. It's a frightening feeling and a big problem that calls for a radical solution. It's, it's pretty bad. You know? For Denzel Donald, there was a time when making ends meet day to day for merely the simple things was very discouraging. Sadly, Diana and Reginald DePriest can second that. It's real upsetting. Unsettling and unacceptable to live in a home and feel trapped. What am I going to do? Am I going to be able to keep this house? Yeah, I can't live without water. She shouldn't have to. No citizen should. A lot of times there are unscrupulous landlords. Taking advantage of their tenants, taking their money, and not upholding their end of the agreement. Leaving renters without water. Forcing these folks to fetch it by any means necessary. That's crazy. Yes, it is. However, these Detroiters have different water woes. I think we missed one month paying. One month paying the water bill, then it was up to $700. The pipes burst, all the water came rushing out. It was just running and running. So guess what else was running? His water bill. The total amount due is literally $2,461.87. You couldn't pay this, could you? <laughs> No. The most important thing is to have compassion. Meet Palencia Mobley. I am the deputy director and chief engineer for the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department. The work she and this team has taken on is mission-based. You cannot do it right if you don't care about the citizens you serve. They will literally wrap their arms around you and help. Hence, the department's Water Residential Assistance Program, RAP. We all have a personal experience that we can relate to. This administration, the staff that we have been able to bring in have really worked very hard to, to have a paradigm shift to show that we care. If you are a renter without water, we have the ability to get you into a payment program and to make you the responsible uh, party for paying um, the water bill. If you are a homeowner having trouble paying a mind-blowing bill, they would give us help. If you are uh, in need of minor home plumbing repairs and you meet the criteria, you could also have those plumbing repairs done as part of being an enrollee in the RAP program. They had to replace the entire pipe. And you paid what? Nothing. Like the lady came in, she changed the shower heads, she changed the units inside the toilet, she gave us new faucets for the bathroom. She did stuff that we didn't even expect they were going to do. And it was free. RAP program has done what for you and your family? Wonders. Was this a lifesaver for you? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> um, it, was, it was easy on my pockets, I can say that. So whether you are a renter or a homeowner, there is help out there for you. The qualifications vary depending on your household. For a family of four, the household income cannot exceed $36,450. To find out if your family qualifies for the RAP program, go to our website, WXYZ.com. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.